Um, Kevin Cunningham is calling in from Virginia Beach, a family vacation. I really appreciate you joining us here as well as Marianne uh, Chinati uh, to talk about the Quinnebog River Trail, um, which got 2.1 million in the Invest Act. So I'm gonna hand it off to either Kevin or Marianne to sort of talk about um, the project. I just want to start off by saying thank you to the Congressman and uh, all the efforts that you've been uh, working on so far and, and uh, appreciate that very much. The details of the, of the plan, really, I'm going to hand this over quickly over to Mary Ann so she can give some more background to this and, and uh, help the discussion. Morning, everybody. And to echo Kevin and John's thanks to uh, Congressman Courtney and his staff, this is a wonderful project for the town, something that we've wanted to get started for quite some time and we appreciate your help with it. And we've been working with DOT on this. The Quinnebaugh River Trail, this particular section is a 1.6 mile section of the three phase Quinnebaugh River Trail that is part of the 3000 mile walk bike East Coast Greenway that stretches from Maine to Key West. Um, this particular section is in the middle of, of Plainfield's three sections. It stretches from Route 205, which is uh, Warrigan Road, and it comes down through a local road, South, Wal South Chestnut Street in Warrigan, and over uh, DOT and DEEP properties down to South Caddy Lane via the Trout Hatchery Road. That 1.6 mile section we're, we propose that because it's the most economically feasible at this point section of the, of the three phases. Ultimately, when the Quinnebog River Trail is completed as part of the East Coast Greenway, it, it will stretch in Plainfield from Killingly and then connect with the Moosup Valley State Park Trail over in downtown Moosup. Um, this is a total $2.7 million project and Plainfield's residents and visitors are extremely outdoor minded and they look for recreational opportunities such as this and this will help expand Plainfield's offerings to them and it will be a wonderful project when it's completed. Great. Well, um, thank you, Marianne. I definitely agree with you. And I know, Kevin, your description of the community, which is, uh, I mean, obviously the Heritage Corridor, um, you know, Quiet Corner um, Heritage Corridor um, is really one of the most successful Heritage Corridor programs in the National Park Service. And it is because, um, you know, we found ways to, to get people, um, you know, out on trails, um, you know, part of events, but certainly, you know, having this infrastructure really will, um, you know, boost that even more. Kevin, I don't know if you want to have any final comments on it, but uh, again, this was a project which was endorsed at the state level as well as um, the, the local level. And uh, again, you guys checked the box and did a great job moving fast. And if I could just say before, Kevin, um, the Northeast corner, the quiet corner, really a lot of people have the misconception of you can't get there from here. But when you look at us on a map, we're smack dab in the middle of everywhere in the Northeast corner of the country, not just of the New England region. I mean, this is a perfect location. Yeah. Great, and uh, one, by the way, I mentioned earlier the transit money, which was again, a, a separate um, you know, pool of money, which was approved. Um, again, Plainfield, which you don't think of as sort of a, you know, high density transit area there. They've been doing great work um, in terms of getting bus service uh, going north and south. And it's been, you know, I think it's, um, this bill is gonna really strengthen, um, uh, you know, give more resources to, to give people other options than driving in cars. So, um, and, and again, the town has been just a great proponent of that transit program. So, 